Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Can you hear me, everyone? Is anyone there? Hello. Yes, hello. Hello. How are you tonight? Better. <laughs> <laughs> and did the doctor say anything? Did they already know what you have? Or or they don't they actually, don't actually the uh, we are waiting for the results. Ah, okay. Yes. Well, yeah. I hope they discover something not so bad. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But I'm happy to see you here and it's Friday. And and what happens with Fridays? <laughs> it's Friday. And the body knows that. <laughs> Very good. Any plans for the weekend? Just rest, go shopping. Mm, sounds nice. I mean, yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right. How about you guys? What are your plans for the weekend? It's Friday. Uh huh. Any plans? No, no plans for the weekend. Only work. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, everybody, welcome to the class. I'm really happy to see you. Tonight is a very special day. Tonight is graduation day. Very good job. So tonight is basically the last day here in Intermediate 3. So I hope everything goes well and you are ready for the next level. How do you feel about it? Do you feel excited? Or do you feel like worried, nervous? Not right? Uh-huh. Are you excited about it? Or not. <laughs> Los veo preocupados, guys. Siento que yo me siento más feliz que ustedes. I mean, I am more excited than you. What happens? Don't you feel happy because you will go to the next level? Or do you want to repeat? <laughs> uh huh. I feel so excited for finishing the, the module. Uh, Okay, I don't know how will happen next. <laughs> I uh, I expect uh, expecting. <laughs> Everything will be okay, guys. Come on, you are doing a great job. You are improving a lot. At the beginning of these levels, not everybody speak, but now look at this. Everybody participates. At the beginning, you were a little bit nervous, but now talkative a lot so you are more than ready for the next level everyone don't be nervous everything will be fine okay <laughs> so do you remember the topics that we studied in this level uh-huh or not oh yeah se les olvidaron todos los topics my goodness <laughs> okay let's see Tell me some of the topics that we studied during all these levels. Five weeks, everybody. We have been together for five weeks. So, uh huh. Tell me the topics you remember. Si no lo voy a hacer repetir, todavía estoy a tiempo de, de bajar las notas de algunos, right? <laughs> Hey, teacher, don't be like that. Okay, so answer. Tell me the topics that we studied. Uh-huh. We studied branding, questions, mm -hmm. and... Quantifiers. Okay, quantifier. very good. Before P. Ah, very good. What else? What else? 
tell me the topics that you remember from all these levels. Double neg negative. Very good, very good. Uh -huh. What else? And only Magdaleno and Erika uh, are answering and the rest. Positive verbs. Positive verbs, very Positive good, verbs. definitely. What else? Another topic that you remember? YH question, remember? Double H questions, <laughs> Double H yes, question. very good. Product, price, place, and mom. Um, Pro Pro promotion. promotion. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Uh huh. What else? Branding. Branding. Brands. Yes. We discuss a lot about brands, actually. Would rather and would you prefer? Yes, very good. Uh huh. What else? Enough, enough plus adjective, enough plus other plus enough. Good. <laughs> yes, we saw enough using with the adjectives and also with nouns. Noun. Very good. Okay, which of those topics did you feel was like the most difficult for you? Of all the topics that you already mentioned, which one do you think was the most difficult for you? Uh-huh. Or all of them were easy. For me was the quantifier and the double double negative. Ah, because okay. I, it's difficult for me to understand that's that situation of neither either or something like that. I don't mm -hmm. remember the four <laughs> words. Okay, neither nor either and or. Okay. Yes, just that. <laughs> okay, very good. Who else? Which topic did you feel was the most difficult one? Uh huh. Like uh, Magdaleno for me, and uh, and a phrase for a little, a lot, some uh, is quantif quantifier. The quantifiers. For me, this was very. Uh, difficult for understand maybe and uh, I need uh, to study a lot about this okay okay I know quantifiers is a little bit complicated topic because there are a lot of quantifiers right and each quantifier has like its own characteristics the way that you have to use it and it's like you have to memorize like many things that's a difficult topic Mm -hmm. Anyone else? What was the most difficult topic during this level? What do you think? Uh -huh. Let's participate. Si no me participan, le bajo puntos. For me, teacher, I think that casa verse because you have to know which pair is flexible, which pair not, or you have to read the context. And Good for me, point. I think that is, is, is not easy to me. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, that's a difficult topic too. So I know everyone during this level, there will be a lot of difficult topics, but here we are. We are finishing this topic. You did it, okay? So, as I said yesterday, at the beginning, there are some topics that we feel that they are difficult. But at the end, you understand the topic and it become easier, okay? So keep going in the next level. You will find diff uh, difficult topics too, 
but you can do it, okay? So don't give up. Now, let's start. Today we are going to check some topics too, and we are going to have a survey, but in some minutes, I'm going to share the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes? Okay, so today is April 28th. And look at this. <laughs> we are completing the level. I was searching about Mario because some of you liked it. So welcome to the last day of Intermediate 3. So yesterday we studied the double negatives. Okay, can you give me examples of double negatives words? Mm -hmm. Do you remember some examples of double negatives? Or not double negatives, only the negative words. For example, if I say don't, that's a negative word. What else? No. No. no yeah. Nobody. Uh huh. Nothing. Nothing. Great. Uh huh. What else? Nowhere. Nowhere. Very Nowhere. good. Uh huh. What else? Never. Never. Very good. Uh huh. What else? Neither. Neither. Definitely. Uh huh. Do you remember any other? So remember, all the contractions in negative, those are negative words. And yesterday we saw these examples. As you mentioned, neither, none, no, nothing, nowhere, nobody. Those are like the most common ones. But also we have these ones, barely, hardly, never, rarely. Those are negative words too. They don't have the word no, but they are considered negatives because of the meaning. Okay. Here we got some contractions. Can't, couldn't, didn't. Even when you have contractions with the verb to be, those are negative words too. So what can we do when we have negatives? We need to change it. For example, if I have nobody, I need to replace it. What is the word that I can use instead of nobody? Is anybody. An, anybody. Exactly. Instead of nothing? Anything. Great. Instead of neither? Uh -huh. There is either. Either, correct. We just remove the letter and instead of never. Never. Correct. Good. So let's see this exercise just to see if everybody remembers. I have only five sentences. This exercise will be short. Five sentences. I just want you to check these sentences, but correct them. Okay, eliminate the double negative sentence. For example, number one, Max shouldn't never have tried to fix itself. Oh, to fix it himself. So, can you see the double words? I mean, the, the negative words? Yes. Which Good ones? Good uh-huh shouldn't what else never. and never those are the negative words so what will be the correct sentence what do you think max shouldn't ever very good max shouldn't ever we don't say never okay ever 
have tried to fix it uh, himself. That is one option. What is the other option? What do you think? Any idea? If we eliminate shouldn't. Mm. Shouldn't or just not? Not, sorry. <laughs> so exactly, we just have to not. say, Max should, should never. never, and then have tried a da 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 da. Okay, look, in the first one, we remove the word never. In the second one, I keep never, but I removed the negative of shouldn't. And I say just should. Now, number two, what are the negative words in the sentence number two? Haven't done nothing. Exactly. I have haven't and nothing. So everybody, I want you to tell me what will be the correct sentence, but because no, uh, not everybody is participating, I will pick randomly. Uh, let's see, the first person I will pick, ta -ta 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 -ta, Christian. Hello, Christian, are you there? Hello, yes, teacher. Okay, Christian, mm -hmm. what will be the correct sentence? Number two. Number two. Mm -hmm. We haven't here or her. What is the pronunciation of that? Heard. Heard. We haven't heard anything about your trip to Canada. All right. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, I do. That's correct. Very good. What could be the other option? In this case, you can just remove the negative, right? And we can say, we have heard and then nothing. We keep it because we already remove el not. Okay, Christian, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay. Erika. Thank you. Okay, Erika, number three, what would be the answer? Okay. Um, the kids were no where. Were no where. <laughs> okay, your kids were no where. Where nowhere. Do you agree, everybody? Is any anywhere? Yes, it's the other form. Okay, exactly. If you see she's picking the other example, yes, we remove a not from where, but we keep it nowhere. So totally correct. What will be the other option? I just change it. Uh, your keys weren't anywhere. Exactly. You see? So both options are correct, everyone. I just want you to pick the one that's for you is easy. So in this case, look. So you can say your keys. Oops, sorry, I omitted the letter R. Okay. Your keys weren't anywhere. That is one option. Or your keys where nowhere okay that's it um erica pick one of your classmates please okay let me see your, um, mirna or she oh no mirna already participated okay pick okay. someone else sorry okay. <laughs> um fatima Okay, Fatima, are you there? Yes. Okay, number four, what would be the correct answer? My father says, I never heard 
anything that he says. I never hear anything that he says. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes, correct. Look, we change nothing for anything. What will be the other option? Any idea? Oh, my father says. Uh huh. I I hear nothing that he says. That could be another option. Look, instead of never, we can remove it and say just I heard, and then instead of anything, nothing. If you don't want to omit never, so instead of never, also you can say ever, but that is up to you if you want to add it or not. It's not necessary, doesn't change the meaning of the sentence. So if you omit it, it's fine too. Very good. Fatima, pick one of your classmates, please. Carlos. Okay, Carlos, are you there? Hello, hello, Carlos. Okay, I think he's not there. Can you pick someone else? Um, Isabel. Thank you. Okay, Isabel, number five, what will be the answer? I did, didn't. Uh huh. Uh, from anybody? All right. I didn't. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't want help from anybody. Did you agree, everyone? Yes. Totally. Yes, okay. Excellent. Very good job. And. Finally, the last option for this sentence, instead of I didn't want help from anybody, what would be the other option? Mm -hmm. I want help from nobody. Very good. I want help from nobody. Are you sure? I want? In past teacher. That's it, excellent, I wanted. Because remember, in this case, the auxiliary is in past, so the verb is in past. I wanted help from nobody. So this is the way, everybody, that we can avoid double negative. Again, you have to use the ones that you feel it is easier. If you think, teacher, the second option is very difficult, okay, don't use that. If for you, the easiest one is the first option, okay, use that one. If you feel that, no, the second option is easier, perfect, use that. This is up to you, everyone. Both of them are correct. Okay, so it's up to you. Is this topic clear, everyone? It's Do you have clear. any question? No, totally clear? Yes? For me it is. Okay, ready for another exam? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, only one says yes, my goodness. Okay, everybody, I'm going to check attendance. When you listen to your names, say present. Carlos Abrego. Present. Okay, Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, Erika Jasmine. Oh, present. Very good, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay, Gabriel Beltran. Gabriel Beltran. Oh, okay, very good. Um, Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Isabel Hernandez. 
Present, Miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Present. Very good. Um, Jamie Raquel. Present, teacher. Okay. Holman Giron. Present. Good. Uh, Lucy Natalie. Uh, Lucy, Natalie, are you there? Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Magdalena Escalante. Present. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present. Okay. Um, Pamela Carolina. Pamela Carolina. Okay. Uh, Rosalina Alvarado. Sí. Okay. Selvin Adonai. Selvin Adonai. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, everyone. Now we are going to have a survey. Okay, this is the moment for a survey. You know that every level you have to complete the survey from Insaforp. I know that you have done this many times, so we are going to do it right now. Just remember, at the end of the survey, you have to take screenshot. And that screenshot, you have to send it on WhatsApp's group, okay? That's important, do it. Now, we are going to do it. Remember all the information about the, uh, about the course, it's on WhatsApp's group. I'm going to resend the link right now here in the chat, okay? And on WhatsApp's group, I'm going to resend it to. So that is the first thing that you have to do. Open up the link and you will see this. Okay. In the first option, you have to write the order, como la orden de inicio. Esa está ahí en su grupo de WhatsApp, ahí en unos mensajitos arribita, scroll up, ahí les mandaron datos del curso y dice orden de inicio. Okay. If you want, I can just resend it. You can copy and paste. Okay. Orden de inicio. Les estoy mandando los numeritos para que lo puedan copiar. Right. Then, nombre completo, well, that's your full name. Como está en el DUI, everyone. Su correo, el correo que brindaron. No van a inventar otro correo, sino que el que ustedes brindaron. Su número de teléfono, su sexo, el departamento donde viven, el municipio, la empresa en la que trabajan. Ahora, el nombre del proveedor que los capacitó, ahí ustedes tienen que colocar eh, inglés corporativo. Okay, ahí les estoy reenviando la información. Inglés corporativo. El nombre, eh, bueno, después de eso, eh, el nombre del curso. Ahí está, inglés intermedio módulo 3. Then, ahí completen ustedes la survey. Y abajo les va a pedir la fecha en que inició el curso y la fecha en la que finalizó el curso. Ahí les estoy mandando las fechas también. Ustedes solo tienen que copiarlas. So, in the end of the survey, we have these questions. Okay. If you have another interest courses, Imagine, no sé, si les interesa otros cursos como Excel o, I don't know. Si hay otro curso que a ustedes les interese, pues pueden escribir su respuesta. Esa la pueden escribir en Spanish if you want. Si tienen comentarios, de igual forma los pueden escribir y los pueden escribir en Spanish too. 
Luego solo le dan submit. Al darle submit, les va a aparecer un mensaje like thank you for taking this survey. A ese le van a tomar screenshots y lo envían al WhatsApp. Así que, go ahead everyone, si alguien tiene dudas o problemas con la survey, me avisan para poder ayudarles. Go ahead. If you have a question, just let me know. No sé, mis compañeros, pero al menos a mí no me deja entrar el enlace. ¿No le carga? No. Ok, esperemos un momento. A veces es porque se sobrecarga, porque todos están entrando al mismo tiempo. Así que démosle un par de minutitos y luego vuelve a intentar. No worries. ¿A alguien más le dio ese problema? No. Ok, ok. Vaya, a los que les esté dando problemas para entrar... It's ok, esperemos un par de minutitos y luego intentamos. Ok, a veces es porque se satura um, el sistema. Posiblemente es porque todos estamos intentando entrar al mismo tiempo. Ok, so no worries. Esperemos un par de minutitos y luego entramos otra vez. Don't forget to take the screenshot, everyone. That is very important. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Okay, I can see one of your classmates already sent it. Very good. So everyone, don't forget to take the screenshot, please. If you have a question, just let me know. On WhatsApp group, I resend the information, just copy that. Okay, I can see another classmate already finished. Very good. Don't forget to send the screenshot. Excellent, very good. Okay, let's see, Isabel, some of your classmates already finished. If you want, you can try to enter to the link now. So maybe you can do it now. And Oscar, you too, try please. If anyone has issues, just let me know, please. If you have any question, just let me know. No olviden llenar todos los campos and send a screenshot at the end. Teacher, could yes. you could you check my my um, my workplace? Oh yes, yeah, sure. Yes, please. Let me see. Let me see. Du, 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 du. Iglesia Bautista Internacional, Siloe, El Salvador. 
Thank you, Scorpio. Do you want me to send it in the chat? No, I'm already. Okay, very good. Thank you. Just I want to be. Just I want to be. Sure. sure. Okay. Yes. Perfect. No problem. If you have a question, everyone, just let me know. Thank you for the ones that already sent it. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. Oscar, Isabel, could you enter? Yes or not yet? Yes, okay, Oscar pudo entrar, Isabel, how about you? Si alguien no ha podido entrar, please tell me so I will help you with that. I can see a lot of people already sent it, very good job. I have 11 people already finished the survey. Nice job. So I'm going to wait for everyone. If you have an issue, if you have a question, just let me know. Remember everyone, we have to take this survey tonight. No la pueden hacer mañana, no la pueden hacer después. It has to be tonight. So it is important to everybody send it, please. Everyone. If you have issues, just let me know. Okay, let's see. I can see 13 people. 13 people already finished. Faltan algunos. Mientras sus classmates terminan, I want to share with you the platform. Look at this, everybody. Good job. Look. I can see all of you finished. Uh, I can see very good score. So at the end, the total, that is your final score. And I can see very good grades. So I liked it. You did it. You finished the platform on time. So excellent job, everyone. Um, in this moment, I'm just waiting for Oscar because uh, it's missing only uh, the final test. That's the only thing, and then you are done, okay? Um, and if you can improve a little bit your score from the unit number four, because it's a little bit low, but the rest of you, you're done. You already finished the platform, so that's great. It's a pool, very good. Excellent job. So everyone, ya ven que si se puede. So keep going. In the next level, you have to be responsible too. Um, let's see, did every, everybody finish the survey? Ya todos terminaron la survey? Yes, I sure am. Yes, alguien no la ha hecho todavía? I finished. You finished, okay. Alguien falta, alguien no la ha entregado? Remember, se tiene que entregar hoy, guys. 
Y ese es uno de los requisitos que pide Insafor, siempre, para todos. Así que necesito que todos la entreguen, please. Si no les carga el sistema, I mean, sigan intentando, please, keep trying. Porque eso queda un registro de quienes sí hicieron la encuesta y de quienes no. Entonces, al final son requisitos de Insafor para todos. Ok, así que ahorita tengo, I think, around 14 people, I guess. So, me faltan un par de personas todavía, así que please complete it. Now, after this, it's time to see the topic that we have to study today. This is the last topic, everyone, and is characteristics of effective loyalty program. So, that is what we are going to be talking about tonight. And this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Who wants to read? I want to. Yes, please. Class objective, uh, characteristic of effective loyalty programs. Class objective, objective, objective. To describe the, job, the loyalty pyramid. Pyramid? Mm -hmm. Pyramid? Pyramid. Pyramid. Pyramid different to committed customer of a re renowned local, local products or service. Very good. So that is what we are going to check tonight. And let's start answering this question. How passionate are you about the brands you consume? I mean, are you like, yes, I love to buy this brand. I'm very loyal. I love it. I'm very faithful to this brand. How passionate are you? Or mm, you are not. What do you think? Uh-huh. Anyone? How passionate are you about the brands that you consume? Okay, guys, this is the last day of classes, okay? But you are not active. I want you to participate, okay? So... Come on, everybody wake up, everybody stay here. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. so how passionate are you about the brands you consume or you are indifferent? It's like, no, I'm not. What do you think? Me teacher, not, but just uh, with the sneaker or shoes. Uh-huh. Yes, I passionate some brands because they are comfortable. 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 Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. Anyone else? How about you? Redmi teacher. Redmi uh -huh. is, is a device like a cell phone and air earphone and another another device. For me, is is I I am special for me because it's a low price mm -hmm. and good good quality. All right, very good. And what do you think, guys? Do you feel these brands, I mean, talking about the brands that you like, these brands define you? What do you think? These For brands no, represent no. you? No. No. <laughs> because it's accessible. Accessible, uh-huh. Accessible. And it, uh, are very, very nice, but no define me. I, I talk about the Redmi. Mm -hmm. Another brand, I think, no, no. I they think don't no define you. No, no, no. Okay. How about you guys? What do you think? Yes. No, they don't define oh, no. me. <laughs> Actually, the, the, the brand don't define myself because if they're 
Okay, um, if if the brand don't exist, I will use other one. <laughs> if the brand doesn't exist, I mean, you will just pick another one. Yes, yes. if doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Nice, very good. Now, are you loyal to your brands? Or is like, no, not really. What do you think? Actually, I'm loyal. You're loyal? Okay. And the rest yeah, of you? Me too, teacher. I'm loyal, but if I if the brand doesn't have in the market, no worries. <laughs> I can take another one. You take but, another one. <laughs> yes, but I I always try to, to look the same, but if if not, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> you you won't die because of that. <laughs> exactly. Sure, All right. Depending depends on the economy. Mm, why? Well, well, um, I don't I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> you won't buy it. <laughs> buy chips products. Ah, very I good. I don't complicate. Complicate. You don't, com uh, I don't complicate. complicate it. Okay. And that's a good point, too. Like, I mean, if I don't have money, I need to go for the cheaper one. Sounds good. Now, that is what we are going to be talking tonight about loyalty, about how passionate are you to your brand, and some of the stages that a customer has in each product. So, Talking about the stages, to understand this topic, I want to give you an example. What are the stages in a relationship? Uh -huh. Imagine a relationship. What are the stages? What, what kind think? of relationship are you, are you talking about? A romantic one. Oh, it's romantic. <laughs> Uh huh. What are the stages? What do you think? Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Like when you start knowing knowing that person. What else? Um, know the person. <laughs> when you know the person. Uh, uh -huh. Mirna, what do you say? Yes, when you know the person first date. Okay. And the then people, the people hide the flies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, That's, it's true. Yeah, too. it is. It is true. Yeah. What else? Another stage? When you are completely blind. <laughs> I like that. When you are completely blind, you see perfect to the other person, right? Even if the other person is ugly, if the person doesn't take a shower, for you it's perfect because <laughs> you are blind. What else? Have a little discussion. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's normal. You have some fights, some... <laughs> Discussions, some arguments, and 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 and, and again, uh, engage, engage, engagement, engagement. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You engage to the other person, yes. And yes. then is uh, maybe married or not married? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you decide exactly. You get if you want, if you consider it's the right person, you get married, or you run away <laughs> <laughs> when you know the real Fly away. personality <laughs> <laughs> when you Back. are not when you are not blind anymore the other words, <laughs> <In my back. laughs> when the love dies <laughs> when the love dies yes so look exactly what you have said that's some stages you first need to know the person right you start maybe like friends you are dating you go for a coffee and that's it not emotions involved i mean you don't love that person yet you are just friends you are knowing each other with the time 
right? You start feeling emotions, you are connecting to that person. As your classmate says, if that relationship works, you can get married or not. Similar to these stages in a relationship, it happens with the stages of a brand loyalty. So what happens here? Look, the brand pyramid featured avoid, what, what is the meaning? I'm trying to explain this with that example so it is easier to understand. We have this pyramid. This pyramid represents the stages that a customer face or that a customer goes through in order to create a relationship with a brand, okay? So imagine that this is you. Um, I'm not good at drawing, but imagine that this is you, <laughs> okay? You are very happy and you go to the supermarket and you find a new product, okay? I have here the new product. So I don't know, any kind of product. In order that you buy this product, you start knowing this product, if you liked it or not, if you feel attached to this product or not, at the end, there is a relationship, okay? Algunos de ustedes, as you said, you are very loyal to a brand. Pero para que ustedes sean loyal to a brand, Tuvieron que pasar por diferentes etapas, different stages, until you get totally loyal to that brand. And that is what we are going to see right now. So in this pyramid, what is the first step? Oops. The first step is the presence. What happens in the presence stage? I need a volunteer for reading the paragraph, please. Could I? Yes, please. Um, at this level, customers are aware of your brand, but little else, little else. They may have tried your products and service before, services before but they have a little or, or no emotional attachment to them. Very good. So pay attention here in the face stage. Here, you know the product, okay? Maybe you already tried the product, but look, you don't feel so emotional. I mean, maybe you liked it, but just maybe a little bit, but you don't feel like so attracted by it. This is, for example, when you date to someone the first time. Maybe you like it, but mm, it's like you are not in love with that person, right? It's just like, oh, yeah, it's good. Okay, but that's it. All right, that is the first stage. Okay, what is the name of the first stage? Look, presence. Okay, again, presence is the first stage. In that stage, you know the product, but you don't feel so attached. You don't have like a lot of emotions for that product, okay? Is it clear the first stage? Yes? Yes. Uh -huh. What do you mean with an emotional attach, attachment? Oh, that means literal, like atado emocionalmente. Like for oh. example, for example, imagine that you go to the supermarket. Well, in my case, for example, if I want to buy milk, mm -hmm. I always buy salud milk. <laughs> so when I don't see salud milk in the supermarket, it's like, I oh, know, I don't want to take another one. <laughs> I even feel disappointed 
What does it mean? That means that I have an emotional attachment, attachment. right? So provocan emociones in me, positive or negatives. It's just like you. Imagine that you want to eat fast food. You go to the mall and you see your favorite restaurant is closed. How do you feel? Maybe you can feel disappointed, sad, angry. <laughs> so if you feel emotions, that means that you are emotional attached. Ah, si les da igual, if you don't feel any emotion, if for you it's just the same, that means that no, you don't have emotional attachment. Okay. Is it clear? I, yep. Very good. Okay. Is there any product, guys, that makes you feel in this stage? ¿Creen que están en esta área con algún producto? In the presence? Yeah. Yes? Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which with products, which products makes you feel in the present stage? Uh -huh. mm. For example, in my case, I am in the present stage with a, <laughs> there is a new, I, what is the name? <laughs> this is like, like, a, <laughs> toilet paper, right? I always use Scott, but there is another one that I don't remember the name. The package is, is red. I think that is flower or something like that. So no it, for me, it's new, okay? I already tried it. I liked it, but if I don't find that in the supermarket, I easily go to Scott brand, <laughs> okay? So it's just the same. How about you? Which product makes you feel in the present stage? What do you think? Tula Joyce Tula. Ah, okay. Good. Yes, so and you don't feel emotional really attached? No, I think yes, because it's very, very good. Ah, so, okay. Si ya siente emotional attachment, mm -hmm. entonces ya no está en la presence. Usted está uh -huh. en otro level. <laughs> Soap for for uh -huh. cleaning the, 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 the clothes. Okay. I don't have, maybe a uh, rinso, if, maybe uh, Ajax. I don't know. I don't have emotional attachment. If you don't find that mark, it's. I mean, if you don't find that brand, it's just the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. So everyone, that is the meaning of the present stage. You try the product, but mm, for you it's just the same, okay? Not emotional attach. Is it clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Let's move on to the second stage. The second stage is relevance. What happens in the relevance stage? I need a volunteer for reading, please. Yes, please. Go ahead, Isabel. Okay. <clears throat> they begin to compare the cost of your product with the value that it provides. They might start asking themselves a question like, does this brand fit my money? It is in the right price bracket for me. It is worth it. Thank you. So imagine in this stage, okay, you already know the product and you liked it, but mm, you start thinking mm, about the cost about the characteristics and you think, mm, is this brand good enough? Is it worth it? I mean, vale la pena? So you might think about it. Ya lo estamos considerando. So yes, you liked it, but you are still thinking. 
if it is worth it or not. If this brand fits all your needs or not. Okay, you are considering the characteristics of this product. Do you feel uh, that a product makes you in the in the relevant stage? Are you in this step? What do you think? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> which which uh, with which brand? I don't know Which if product? you heard it. I don't know if you heard it, but there is a new water like maculada. Oh, really? The no, I have water. never heard yes. about the, it. The bottle, the, the bottle is pink. For real? If you buy it for the first time, it costs six dollars, but the refill costs one box and fifty cents. And actually, I compare the sodium leave, uh, level between la cristal. And Immaculate, and it's like, mm, mm, interesting. <laughs> and, and the bottle is pink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's interesting. I have never seen that. <laughs> but that's a good example. If you see in this moment, she's thinking, she's considering if the product is perfect for her or not, right? That is the relevance stage. Is it clear this stage, everybody? Teacher, yes. I have a question with the expression price bracket. Okay. Everybody, have you ever heard that phrase? Me not, sure. No, nobody? Okay, the price bracket, it means like, um, Si el precio es correcto para ustedes. I mean, if you want to translate it, it will be like price bracket is like el rango, si el rango de precios is good for you, o si los grupos que tienen, el grupo de precios que tiene esta, esta brand is good for you. That is the meaning, the translation of price bracket. Como el nivel de los precios, el rango de los precios, that is the meaning, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Yes, thank you. Very good. Any other question about this stage, everyone? No? Okay. Pay attention because later there are some questions that you have to ask. Okay, that is the second. What was the first one? Relevant. Percent. Ah, the first one was? Oh, Present. The second is relevance. relevance. Okay, let's go to the third. In the third one is the performance. Perfect. I need a volunteer for reading it, please. Okay. Here, customers begin comparing your brand with other to see which one is better. By now, your products or service is on the customer's short list of brands to choose from. Thank you. Okay, look at this. Again, this is like a relationship, a romantic relationship. You are dating with someone. <laughs> you like that person. That person is in your mind. But what happens? You compare with your ex, for example, <laughs> you compare with another guy just to see which one is better. So that is exactly what happens here. You have two products and you are comparing it and you have to decide which one is better. For example, imagine you like Coca-Cola, but you like Pepsi too. So you are comparing both of them and you have to decide which one is better, okay? Is it clear this stage? Yes. Is anyone in the performance stage? Teacher, I, I understood that in this stage, the people, people, um, I start to trust in the brand. I yes. can see a short list. 
the mm -hmm. customer's short list. In this case, that means, look, imagine, I know that in your mind, there are, or you have a short list of brands. If I ask you which brands are your favorite, yo sé que ustedes tienen una lista of your favorite brands. Yes or no? Yes? Yes, we have. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry. So, in this stage means that the brand mm, is good for you, you liked it, y ya la pusieron en esa short list. Okay? But you ah, it's not it's not one less on paper, it's one less in your mind. What what brand you prefer? It's not your favorite yet. It's only in the list of the uh, no, brands sure. that you consider. Uh-huh. It's only in your mind. It's it's now started to be relevant, but it's not your favorite yet. Okay because you are still comparing which one you like the most. This is, for example, when in your city uh, opens a new pupuseria, <laughs> right? And you go to the pupuseria and it's not so bad. It's not your favorite, but it's not so bad. And what happens? You start to compare that pupuseria with the other ones and you say mm, this pupuseria the sauce the tomato sauce is better but ah, the ingredients maybe are not so perfect or ah this pupuseria the service they are very polite very friendly but a little bit expensive so you are comparing which one is better okay is it clear this stage, everybody? It's clear. Okay. It's clear. Excellent. Is anyone in the performance stage? Mm, yes, teacher. Me, I remember <laughs> I, when I see the, the, when I saw, sorry, the, the picture, <laughs> I remember because when I went to the supermarket uh, for, for food for my little, little kids mm -hmm. I always try to compare the organic food or not organic and I try to <laughs> to to in to decide which which is better for me very good for him in this case <laughs> exactly very good job so you see that is the performance stage okay let's see if you remember what was the first one and what happens in the presence? The brand is just like that. No feel emotion. <laughs> Very good. Emotion, emotions. Not emotion attachment. Okay. Attachment. What was the second one? The second one was relevant. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and what happens? What happens there? Mm. When you try to to another brand, when you try to and compare the cost uh, from another brand. Okay. Basically, in that stage, remember you just you liked it, but you have to make a decision if the cost is good or not, if the characteristic of the product is good or not, okay? And then we have the performance, we already see it. Okay, the next one is advantage. What happens in the advantage? Volunteer for reading it, please. Can I? Yes, please. At this level, customer have determined that- Determined? Determined that there is a distinct advantage to using your run over others. They are also beginning to associate it with their own emotions and identity. 
Identity. Very good. Identity. So what happens in this stage? Look, in this stage, you already <clears throat> recognize that this brand is, look, they have a little advantage over others. So you start thinking, hey, this brand is much better, right? Than the other one. Hey, this pupuseria is better than the other one, okay? And what happens here? Huh? Emotions, attachment, okay? You start feeling something like, when you go to the supermarket and you don't find that product, you start feeling disappointed. When you can buy a product of that brand, you feel happy. So you start feeling emotions, attachment for that brand. Is it clear this stage? Yes, yes. yes. Is anyone in the advantage stage? Yes or not? What do you think? Uh -huh. No one? Okay. Well, remember, advantage. You start feeling attachment emotions and you start to identify that this product has some advantages with other brands, okay? Now, let's see the last stage is bonding. What happens in bonding? Volunteer for reading it. Can I? Yes, please. At this level, customers have, customers have determined- Determined? Determine determined, have determined that there is a distinct advantage to using your brand over others. Okay. They are... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm sorry, my bad. I copied the different one. Give me a second. I mean, that is the same definition. That is not the correct one. Sorry, my bad. Give me a second. In the bonding, this is what happens. When you are in love. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. I'm always, I'm always. Okay, sorry. This is the one. Okay, can you see what I'm sharing now? No. Okay, how about now? Yes. Yes. Okay, that is the one. Sorry. Okay, Magdalena, can you please read it? Yes, my pleasure. Go ahead. Customers have established a strong bond with your brand. They have determined determined, determined. they have determined that the cost advantages and performance of your brand all meet their requirement. What happens in here, in bonding? In bonding, everybody is like when you got married, <laughs> okay? You establish a strong bond, a strong connection. In this stage, you already say, yeah, the cost is good. The brand for me, is the best one, okay? And you already have a very strong emotional attachment. So is in this stage when you can see that you are loyal to this brand. It's like, yes, this is my favorite. I feel disappointed if I cannot buy this one, this has a special connection with me and I'm going to be loyal to this brand. I cannot buy or I don't want to buy another brand because I know that this one is the one that works for me, okay? So is anyone in the bonding stage? What do you think?
Anyone? And maybe with kiwi. Kiwi is is um, or I don't know what is the name of that. The thing what you what you polish or I don't know, but you clear your your shoes. Uh, uh, kiwi. Pasta de zapatos. Ah, mm -hmm. I, I had never heard about it. <laughs> okay. So I think that you can say like pasta or paste or let me choose see. paste. Mm, yeah, or I remember one phrase like footwear, footwear paste, something like that. Foot, the pie, where those are, footwear paste or just shoes paste. Mm -hmm. Okay, it isn't like that. So kiwi is the name. Yes, it's kiwi is the better for for make chain. <laughs> the, chain. The chain. So sorry. <laughs> okay, chain the, the, the choose. Ah, all right. So now do you consider that the cost is good? Yes, the, the is uh, worth it. Yes, it's worth it. Is better than the other products? Of course. And do you have an emotional attachment with it? I love it. <laughs> Very good. So you see, in this moment, he is in the bonding stage. Okay. Anyone okay, else? Uh huh. Tell me. Oh, yes, it's in bonding state. <laughs> so basically, it's like you got married with the Kiwi brand. <laughs> now, anyone else? Petacones cheese teacher. Which one? Petacon. Petacones. Ah. It's better like uh, another cheese, like a San, San Julian. Mm -hmm. How about cheese too, but... For me, it is, it, the cost is, is high. It's, I think it's high, the, but the, the quality, the flower uh, is bad. It's worth it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, very good. So you see everyone, this is bonding. When this brand becomes your favorite, as Magdalena said, he loved it. He loves it. And it's like, you think the cost mm, sometimes is a little bit expensive, as Hector said. But in the end, you say, but the quality is good. So it doesn't matter. I want to pay because I consider that it's worth it. And you have a special connection with that brand. Is it clear the bonding stage? Yes? Yes, it is clear. All right. What was the first one? Let's see if you remember. Present. Present. The second one. Relevance. Relevance. <laughs> I, I heard some people <laughs> hesitate about it. And then? Performance. Performance. And then? Advantage. Advantage. And the last one? Bonding. Bonding. Bon. Okay, very good job. And you get married, no, I love. <laughs> and you get imagine. So if you see, this is exactly like a relationship. You start with the presence, you like it, but nah, it's not so relevant, right? Then you start knowing the person and you start considering if it is good or not, if it is worth it or not. <laughs> Performance, you compare to other one. So you want to see which one is better. So advantage. So in this case, you start to think that this product has advantage about the other ones. You start to feel emotions. And if everything goes well, what happens? <laughs> you got married, okay? This is the stages of the brand loyalty pyramid. Is it clear all the stages, everyone? Yes. 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 
<laughs> Very good. Okay, now this is an exercise. I have the stages here. Of course, they are not in order. I just want you to match the stages with the correct definition. Okay, I'm going to give you three minutes. Um, if you okay. want, well, yes. Can you see it? Yes. Pueden leerlo bien? Can you read it completely? Yes. So you have three minutes. Match the words with the correct definition. Go ahead. If you have a question, just let me know. Three minutes. Breathe carefully, everyone. Breathe carefully. You ready? Yes or not yet? Uh huh. Everyone? Ready or not yet? Not yet, teacher. Okay, I will give you two more minutes. No worries. Two more minutes.
I finished, teacher. Excellent, very good. Anyone else finished? Yes, not yet. Okay, we are going to verify the answers. Remember everyone, what you have to consider, and this is an advice, remember, try to think in the correct order, okay? So we are going to check if your answers are correct or not. So everybody, let's see. First of all, identify which one goes first. Let's see if you memorize it. What is the first stage? Presence. Presence. Okay, let's do it in order. Okay. Uh, can you see what I'm sharing, everyone? Yes. 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 Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, here we go. Presence. The number two. Where do I need to put the number two? Uh huh. I think present is customers are aware of your brand, but little else. So you think that the number two is here? Yes. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Yes, teacher. All right, very good. So what else? What is the next step or the next stage? Relevance. Relevance. Okay, what happens there? Relevance. Number four, what happens? Customers start to think about whether the brand, the brand meets their wants and needs. So you think the number four is here? I think. <laughs> Everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? I agree. Yes, teacher. Yes, very good, exactly. Remember in this moment you are thinking, mm, how much is it? Is it worth it or not? Okay, what is the next step after relevance? Performance. 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 Okay, so the number five. Where are we going to put the number five? The first one, customer begin comparing the brand with, another, with others to see whether, whether it delivers on its potential. Okay, so he says here. Everybody, what do you think? Yes. yes. Definitely, very good job, very good job. Okay, after that stage, what is the next one? Advantage. 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 Okay, Advantage. the number one. What are you going to put the number one? Uh huh. In my opinion is consumer have the second, uh, the number four. Consumers have determined, determined that cost advantage and performance are all that levels that they are happy with. In my opinion is that the number three. Oh, no, no, no. I uh, number so, one, I, advantage. I, I wrong, so sorry, I wrong. Okay. Advantage is the second. Consumers are beginning to associate the brand with their emotion and with their sense of self. Okay, so. The second. Like this? Yes, like this, in my opinion. I don't know my, my classmate. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Yes, that is the one. So the last stage is? Bonding. bonding. And what happens bonding. in bonding? Imagine here you are. Uh, this is the key, the key word in the bonding. Basically, you are 
happy. <laughs> You're happy with the product. The cost is good. Uh, the characteristics, it's good. This product has advantages over the other brands and you are happy, okay? Very good job, everyone. So these are basically the stages when we are talking about a brand. Is it clear, everyone? Do you have any questions about these stages? Yes, no, no questions? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Ready for an exam? Yes, Ready? with copy. <laughs> with copy, like um, an exam in groups, right? Oh my goodness. Yes, with books open. <laughs> All right, now come on. Okay, let's have uh, some questions. Where in the pyramid are you? Okay, when we are talking about these brands. <laughs> Do you know these brands, don't you? Uh-huh. What is the uh, name of this brand? <laughs> okay, which stage do you feel related to Pollo Campero? Do you think that for you, Pollo Campero is in the presence, relevance, performance, advantage, or do you already have a bonding with it? What do you think? Uh-huh. For me, it's advantage. Okay. Some of you are already in the advantage level. Okay, hey, very good. And the other one? Uh huh. How about you guys? I think Pollo Campero is in bonding. You already are in bonding. Okay, very good. So you see, we got some people in the advantage level. Some people already have a bonding with it. How can we know exactly in which stage are we? Look, here I got some questions that you can answer and you can think in which stage you are. For example, if I ask you, how long have you been a customer of Pollo Campero brand? How, how long? One year, two years, 10 years. What do you think? How long have in you been case, a In my case, since I, has mem since I have memory, but I prefer KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Perfect, no problem. So imagine you can have 20 years consuming this brand, perfect. Okay, what are three characteristics, uh, three characteristics or three features that you love about this brand? About Kentucky? In this, well, well you're talking about okay. Kentucky? Yes, tell me. Okay, the crunchy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the salad, the, um, ¿cómo se dice? The salad, but not, yes. not, not, but not the lettuce, the other one. Cold, cold salad. The cold, the cold salad. salad. Okay. And, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> Mashed potato. <They> are, <laughs> because I no. like Kentucky too. <laughs> the pancito. How, what is the name? Uh, the, uh, uh, uh. I mean, the bread. <laughs> Yeah, nice. but it has a specific name. I don't remember. Yeah, what it is. I don't know. <laughs> I, I have a bonding with, with Campero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but good. You see, three features she likes. Now, next question Would you recommend this brand? For example, go back into Pollo Campero. Would you recommend Pollo Campero? Yes or no? I would recommend brown. So you see, if you say yes, okay, 
that can give you an idea how attached you are with this brand. If you say no, well, maybe you are not so attached. And the last one, would you be willing to pay more <laughs> to enjoy Pollo Campero? Imagine that suddenly Pollo Campero says, okay, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Will you pay a little bit more for this product? Yes or no? If I like it, yes. <laughs> yes, I agree with that. With the... <laughs> okay, in this case, Magdaleno, you already said that you are in bonding with Pollo Campero. <laughs> Will you pay more for it? Yes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so that imagine if you answer to all of these questions with a positive answer, that means that yes, you are totally bonding with it. In the case of Erica, she has a lot of years consuming this brand, but I mean, she just prefer another brand. So that means that she is not in the bonding stage. Is it clear, everyone? ¿Cómo podemos medir en qué stage estamos? Yes? Clear or not clear? Okay, let's do an so exercise. So, so, so. okay, uh, because of the time. Uh, let's do a practice, okay? I want you to think in a brand or in a product, okay? So I want you to identify in which stage you are, okay? It's not necessary to be in the bonding stage. I mean, just think about a product and tell me in which stage you are. You can use these questions as a reference. Ok. Estas preguntas pueden ser como una pequeña guía que les pueden ayudar para saber si ya están en el bonding or not. Ok. ¿Se entiende qué es lo que van a hacer ahorita? Yes. For example, imagine, think about a brand. I'm going to choose, um, let's see, let me think in a brand, China Walk. <laughs> I love it, okay? So how long have I been consumer this brand? Well, I think that for around 10 years already. Uh, what are the features that I love? I love the products, I love the price, and I love that it's fast. The service is very fast. Would you recommend it to my family and friends? Yes, I will. Would you be paying more? Not really. I think that China work is good, but no, I wouldn't pay more. <laughs> if it is too expensive, I will pick another restaurant. So in which stage do you think I am? Do you think I am in bonding? Yes or no? Because you don't no. want to pay more. <laughs> I don't want to pay more. So in this case, maybe I am here in the advantage. Okay. So that is exactly what I want you to do. I want you to do an analysis right now. Choose a product that you like. And you had to tell me in which stage you think you are. And you had to tell me why. If you say, teacher, I am in relevance. Okay, why? Teacher, I am in performance. Okay, why? What is the product you are comparing it with? Ah, I am in bonding. Okay, why? Okay, that is what you are going to do. Clear the activity? Yes? ¿Se entiende qué es lo que van a hacer? I understood that we have to choose and we have to choose um, one brand and discuss about the, the question, right? 
Ok, listen. Um, creo que las questions solo los están confundiendo. Mejor las voy a quitar. Ok. Listen, what I just want is just pick a product, el producto que ustedes quieran, uno de sus favoritos or one product, and tell me in which stage you are. That's all. For example, if you say Diana snacks, okay, ese es el producto que seleccionó. En cuál stage are you with Diana products? Ah, teacher, I am in the performance. Okay, why? ¿Por qué creen que están en el performance? Ah, because this and this and this and this. Okay, uh, el producto que yo seleccioné es Sara, oh well, Sarita ice cream. Ah, okay, teacher, I am in bonding. Okay, explain me. Why do you think you are in bonding stage? Eso es lo que quiero que haga. Clear? Yes? ¿Se entendió? Clear. Okay. Yes, Perfect. In this moment, everyone, I will give you only three minutes to think about the product. Okay? Elijan un producto. You have three minutes. Choose the product and tell me in which stage you are. Remember, you have to tell me why. That is what I need. Three minutes, think about it. And while you are thinking in the product, I'm going to check attendance again. So when you listen to your names, say present. Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego. Christian Alexander. Okay, very good. Christian Alexander. Okay. Erika Jasmine. Present. Okay. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Good. Um, Gabriel Beltran. Gabriel Beltran. Okay, very good. Uh, Hector Francisco. Present. Okay. Isabel Hernandez. Isabel Hernández. Ok. Um, Iván Guzmán. Present. Ok. Very good, Isabel. And very good, Iván. I got it. Eh, Jamie Raquel. Present, teacher. Ok. Eh, Holman Girón. Ok. Eh, Lucy Natalie. Present. Ok. Magdalena Escalante. Present, teacher. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Oscar Armando. Present. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Pamela Carolina. Okay. Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Okay. Um, Selvin Adonai. Okay. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. All right, very good. Okay, everybody, are you ready? Did you pick your product? Yes? Yes. <laughs> okay. Remember, you had to tell me the reason why you like that product. I mean, why are you in that stage? Got it? Now, First, we are going to go to the breaking rooms and you will share this information with your classmates. When we come back, I'm going to pick randomly some of you and you have to explain me why you picked that option. Clear? Yes? Okay. Uh, we don't have a lot of time, just around five minutes. This activity is not going to take so long. So let's do it a little bit fast. So everybody, let's go. Share the information with your classmates. Let's go.
Hello. Hello. Hello, partners. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hey. Hello, Rosalina. No, this, no, this. <laughs> class, class. <clears throat> okay. Hey. Who start? Who start quickly? So don't have time. Yes. When I open the 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 camera, my internet. Yeah, there is my problem. Mm -hmm. For that reason, I I I didn't know. I yes, I don't. But I think I uh, I think. Okay. Support for me. Uh, my 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 uh, my product <laughs> is a. Uh, I don't know if it soap dough. Dough ah. is, uh, is, is yeah. soap for the body for soap. body. Soap. Ah, soap. Uh -huh. ah. For me, uh, yeah. um, it's performance because it um, have a good, good, good quality. Uh, the price is uh, maybe high compared with another soap, but mm -hmm. I think I, I think it's good for me. It's nice, yeah. I don't know if if I uh, have the the market have a a similar product. I don't. Fine. Mm -hmm. For me, it's low. This for performance for me. Okay, for me, it's Kentucky Fresh Chicken because I love the biscuit. It's a little bread put together the chicken. Also, the potatoes. Ah, uh, it's nice for me. <laughs> okay, who's next, Christian? Ah, uh -huh. who? Yes, I. Yeah. I lose actually. It's no better in my in my my opinion. I don't change that. Actually, right no. now they are so expensive. What? They you were more. I lose. I lose. Oh. Yes. Mm. Okay. They are so, so expensive. In what stage? And... In what stage you are? And in the bonding. It's maybe bonding. Yes, or in the passage. No, bonding. In I don't bonding. change. I don't change that. I prefer buy um a car with uh, with more age if okay. I don't pay a new car because um, the the brand is just because it's the good. Like, yes, is that. Is that for me? It's like your makeup. It's like that. Yeah, actually, I think the same in Toyota. For me, it's the best. For me, it's the best brand that I ever. Do you have some more? Do you have a? Do you have one of them? No, I'm not. My my father says they they hasn't. They has Toyota. And for me, when I say to drive it, it's automatic, but but it works. <laughs> I don't hear you. I don't like the automatic cars. I don't like, I really don't like, because I, I sense that the cars don't speak to me. Okay. I like that. You don't feel that, that emotion when you are changing the, the, the velocity and the <laughs> level. <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. Guys, don't forget to ask to the rest member of the team. I can see Nelson, Jamie, and Carlos. So if they want to participate, guys, are you there? Yes. <laughs> OK. So uh, ask them, Jamie, Nelson, and Carlos, please. Jamie? What brand did you choose? Mm, Jamie? I choose uh, a Toyota. <laughs> so why? For, for okay. real, everybody picked the same. My goodness. <laughs> no, in my case, no. I, I, talk, I talk about my makeup. <laughs> ah, all right. Okay, Jamie, go ahead. <laughs> hey. Yes, I love the Toyota. I only have always Toyota. Oh, really? So, so do you have one? 
In what stage do you think you are, Jamie? What? In what stage do you think you are? Bondy. <laughs> the bonding one. Why? Hey, you are saying good day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would she limit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And cheese. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's really delicious. <laughs> and which level do you do you consider that are in the pyramid? No, um, my shoes is sushi top. Because... Oh, sushi I think that your shoes are the, the <laughs> natural. No, okay. it's sushi Okay. Sushito. Because I I like so much the sushi. <laughs> I really like. And I, li I like the flavor. What? Um, and quality the sushi. Ito. Okay. And I think is is advantage in pyramid because uh, have other brands, and if I don't pay more, more than for for the sushi. Oh, you don't pay more because you have a, a other option in the market and, and yes. the same price. Okay. Yes. It's better. Yeah, because yes, because the practice in the in the class is is nice. You think it in English and you try to express 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 your your ideas, no? Yeah, nice. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank I you, hope, guys. I hope nice. to stay with us in the next level. It's a nice group for me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure with you, my partner. Yes, Haiba Petrovich. Maybe ah, oh, yeah. you are me. you are gossiping tonight. <laughs> <laughs> as, as always, like uh, as always. <laughs> don't cry, Ivan. Don't cry. Yeah, <laughs> Ivan. Another, another. <laughs> see you. See you. Another. Yeah, another. don't cry. <laughs> don't. You know that is some of the disadvantages of virtual classes. I mean, we cannot have like a good farewell. With pizza uh -huh. party, maybe, right? <laughs> <I guess. laughs> yes. Yes. Virtual pizza, because... <laughs> Virtual pizza. Okay. Did everyone present the product? Yes? Yes, sure. yes already. Okay. Yes. And what was Ivan, Ivan product? Uh, Hosh Puppies, choose. In which stage is he? He's a bonding, bonding, and a bonding, bonding like bonding. me. Bonding, yeah, in love. <laughs> so he already got married with that brand. Yeah, yeah. totally <laughs> married. Totally married. Yes. <laughs> nice job. Okay, we are going to go back to the main room. Okay, let's okay. go back. Yeah. Okay, Thank nice. you. Okay, time's up. Let's go back. Let's go back, let's go back. Okay, we are going to wait for the rest of your classmates. They are still in the breaking rooms. Okay, let's see, let's see. How was the practice? Easy or difficult? Uh -huh. Piece of cake, easy. Easy. All right, easy. very good. My partner have a good, good. Uh, for talk, talk. Are good for talk English. Ah, okay. Are, are good at talking English. Are good, yes. Ah, okay. Very good, very good. And the rest of you, how was the practice? Easy or difficult? Uh huh. It was funny. So funny. Why? Why? 
Why funny? They were inter interesting people. <laughs> okay. So you see the difference? Now you have a little, I, I mean, a lot of confidence to gossip with your classmates. Huh? Una chambration que les agarra que. My goodness. Okay, let's see if you paid attention to your classmates. Let's start with the team number one. In the team number one, I have Fatima, Isabel, Lucy, Mirna, Oscar. Uh, let's see. Guys, what was the product that Fatima picked? What was her product? Sushito. <laughs> ah, okay. So, in which stage is she? She, she said that in advantage stage. Okay. So, Fatima, why? Why do you think you are in that stage? Because um, I, I like the sushi and the flavor they have. They have. Mm -hmm. They but have, they have, but um, than other brands, uh, if compared, don't pay more for a sushi. Ah. Because I, I have uh, other options. All right, so you liked it, but in case that they increase the price, you won't pay more. Yes. Ah, okay, very good, very good. Okay, let's see, team number two, I have Carlos, Erica, Jamie, Magdaleno, and Nelson. Okay, let's see, what was the product that Nelson picked? It was a, a brand of coffee. It's gold. Okay. Nelson? Nescafe gold, he, he says. Is that true, Nelson? Yes, teacher. Nescafe gold. Ah, okay. And in which stage is he? He's bonding. Bonding. Why, Nelson? Why do you think you are in the bonding stage? Because uh, I like the flavor, the coffee. I like how to smell in the, the grain quality. Ah. And, and, and I, I said to my, par, to my uh, partner that I drinking this coffee during four years. And what happens if this product uh, increases the cost and is more expensive. Will you pay more? The the almost time I waiting for the offer. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, because I I at first I try to the uh, Juan Valdez, mm -hmm. but it I don't know. I I don't like the the flavor. It's different. It's so different. So I, I go back, I go back to buy the Nescafe Gold and Gain. Very good. Excellent. Nice job. Okay, in the last team, Christian, Hector, Ivan, Rosalina. Okay, guys, what was Christian's product? Let's see if you pay attention. Yes, he say what's up. Oh, the app. What's up? And what in which stage is he? A performance. 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 Yeah, performance. Uh -huh. Okay, performance. Chris, Christian, why? Why do you think you are in that stage? Because I, I like it, but uh always I use other platforms. Mm -hmm. and, for me, for message is the better at the moment because all the people use that, but in my experience are better than WhatsApp. But okay. it's, the, it's the common, the, all, all of us use WhatsApp and for me it's good for that. 
Nice. But I, 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 I'm not Bundy because I know that I is better apps than WhatsApp. Okay, very good. Excellent example. Good job, everyone. I like the fact that you paid attention to your classmates. Now, uh, very fast because we don't have more time. Just be careful with these details. And this is something that I mentioned before. This product is the better. I listened uh, to some people saying the same phrase. Can I say that? Is that correct? This product is the better. It's best. The best. Ah. Without, without. Remember, this is a, um, is a superlative sentence. So we have to say this product is the best. You can use better just if you are comparing. Ah, this product is better than da 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 da. da. Okay, be careful. Now, um, I was listening to some questions when you say, hey, do you have or do you think, do you like? And some people answer with, no, I'm not. If the question is with the auxiliary do, can I answer with the verb to be? No, I'm done. No. Ah, so imagine if I say, hey, do you have uh, a TV? Can I say, no, I'm not? Or what will be the correct answer? Don't. Ah, we are going to say, exactly, no, I don't. So this is important. In English, we always answer with the same auxiliary or the same verb that we are using in the question. If they are asking with do, we answer with do. If they are asking with the verb to be, we answer with the verb to be. Okay? Questions about it? Or is it clear? No, teacher. It's clear. All right. Well, everybody, we have arrived to the moment. Uh, this is all for today, and this is all for the level intermediate three. And congratulations. Very good job. You did it. I feel really proud of you. You get it. You arrived till the end. So, everybody, I just want to encourage you to continue in the next level, intermediate four. Don't be afraid. Ok, you can do it. Si pudieron con este nivel, pueden con cualquier otro. All right. Just a recommendation. Si se fijan, ahorita varios tienen la cámara apagada. All right. So, a veces yo sé que es por la connection y ahí sí los entiendo. Pero a veces es solo por comodidad. So, no olviden que ese es un requisito de Insaform. Eh, otra recommendation, participation. Tengo aquí a muchas personas que sí participan, pero también tengo personas que no participan todo el tiempo. No abusen de ser listeners, ¿ok? Listeners tiene que ser de verdad solo en emergencias, solo cuando no hay otra opción. Y no lo vean como que, ¡ay, qué hueva! No, véanlo porque entre más participan, más mejoran. Ok, los que más participan en este grupo, si se fijan, son los que mejor nivel de inglés tienen y los que menos participan, los que pasan como listeners mucho tiempo, pues lastimosamente ellos son los que se van quedando un poquito abajo con lo que es el speaking. Así que eh, recommendations para el siguiente nivel, please participen más. Ok, no abusen del listener porque al final eso es lo que los va a hacer mejorar, guys. ¿Cómo saben si ustedes pueden hablar inglés o si ya lo mejoraron? Hablándolo, ¿ok? Así que, don't give up, you can do it. And espero verlos en algún otro nivel, maybe ya cuando vean en avanzados, right? My gosh. All right, so this is all for today. Ha sido un placer estar con ustedes. Me alegra haberlos conocido. And thank you so much for being so good students. I love to be with you guys. I wish you the best. Le deseo lo mejor de lo mejor. Thank you, Miss. I will miss you. Okay. Good night, guys. Take care. Good night. Thank, Thank you so much. much. See you. See you around. Bye-bye. Thank you, everybody.